All right. Welcome, everyone. Ready for another deep dive. Always ready to dive in. This time, we're tackling knowledge bases. Knowledge bases, yeah. But not just any knowledge bases, though, right? We're talking AI. Definitely AI-powered. That's where things get really interesting. Exactly. We've got some seriously cool sources this time around, all about how AI is using knowledge bases to become, well, kind of like a super brain. That's a really good way to put it. Like, think about it. We're not just talking about storing info anymore. It's about AI actually being able to understand it, you know, connect the dots, even reason with all that knowledge it's got. Okay, see, now you're making me feel like I need a super brain just to keep up. Yeah. But hey, that's what this deep dive is for, right? Let's break it down. First things first, what exactly are we talking about when we say knowledge base in this this whole AI world? Okay, so imagine, uh, imagine a library. But instead of all those books, it's like packed with facts, relationships, concepts, all that good stuff. But, and here's the key, it's all organized in a way that a computer can actually make sense of. So it's not just like dumping a bunch of random files onto a hard drive and calling it a day. No, no, no. It's way more organized than that. It's like giving AI this, this incredible cheat sheet to understand the world, but a super complex and structured one. Gotcha. Okay, so organization is key. Now, I noticed in our sources they keep talking about different types of knowledge bases, internal, external, machine readable. Why all the categories? Good point. So those categories, they basically tell us how the knowledge base is going to be used and, and who's using it. Internal knowledge base. Think of that like a company wiki, right? Just for employees. Mm -hmm. External, that's more customer facing, like those FAQ pages we all love. Makes sense. But then you got machine readable. Now that's where the real AI magic happens. That's where the data is formatted specifically for AI to process and actually learn from. Okay, now this is where I'm starting to see how AI really takes this whole knowledge thing to a whole new level. But I gotta ask, why should we care? Like, how does all this impact us regular non-AI folks out here in the real world? So, think about it this way. What if, and stay with me here, what if you had instant access to any piece of information you needed? And I mean any information, perfectly tailored to your specific question. Sounds like a dream come true, honestly. I'm already tired of scrolling through endless Google searches. Right. No more sifting through pages of search results. No more waiting on hold forever with customer service. Our sources actually highlight some pretty incredible benefits here, like increased efficiency, consistent information no matter who's accessing it, and even better decision making. And less time on hold with customer service is always a win in my book. You know, our listener profile for this deep dive mentions they work in project management. I bet this kind of quick and reliable access to information would be a total game changer for them. Absolutely. Imagine being a project manager and you've got an AI that can pull up project specs in a snap, give you the best practices for dealing with risks, maybe even predict potential roadblocks based on past data. That's like having a super powered assistant. Okay, sold. Sign me up. So we've got the benefits, but how do we actually build one of these AI-powered knowledge bases? Well, it's definitely not a simple process. You're talking data collection, cleaning it up, structuring it properly. Our sources actually point to this company, Quillicfiz, as a great example. They've created this really unique system where the AI actually learns how to organize information. Wait, the AI learns how to organize. Yeah, it's pretty wild, right? It's almost like you're teaching it to think like a like a total subject matter expert. That's incredible. And speaking of Quillicfiz, they use a graph database to store information, right? So instead of those boring rows and columns like a spreadsheet, it's more like a, a, a web of interconnected concepts. Exactly. And yeah. that, that interconnectedness, it's super important for AI. It actually mirrors how our brains work, you know, all those connections firing between different ideas. So the AI can really understand the relationships between those pieces of information, not just the facts themselves. Okay. I'm starting to see the bigger picture here. Now, they also mentioned something about these... Uh query and X functions in their system. What's the deal with those? Okay, so query, think of that like asking the knowledge base a question. Straightforward enough, right? Yeah, I got that part. Now X comes in when the AI needs a little extra help to give you the best possible answer. So for example, let's say you ask it about, I don't know, the best strategy for a new marketing campaign. Oh, I'm following. The AI might query its internal knowledge base, right? But then to give you the most up-to-date comprehensive answer, it might use X to pull in real-time data on like current trends or what your competitors are doing. Oh, so it's like the AI knowing when to call in reinforcements for that truly expert answer. Exactly. And all of this is happening behind the scenes. So for the user, it's just the seamless, smooth experience. Love that. Now, 
if I could build my own AI knowledge base? I think I'd go for one dedicated to finding the best bird watching spots. What about you? What kind of knowledge would you pack into yours? Oh, that's a tough one. I think mine would have to be dedicated to, I don't know, maybe analyzing philosophical arguments or something like that. That sounds pretty intense. It'd keep me busy, that's for sure. But that's the beauty of it, right? This technology, it can be applied to literally anything you can imagine. Totally agree. This whole deep dive has been such a mind trip. Honestly, it feels like we're barely scratching the surface of what's possible with AI yeah. and these incredible knowledge bases. Oh, absolutely. This stuff has the potential to revolutionize the way we learn, how we work, even how we interact with the world around us. It's a pretty exciting time to be watching this all unfold. Couldn't said it better myself. That's all the time we have for this deep dive, folks, but who knows what the future holds. It's certainly going to be interesting.